What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys enjoyed that short little film. I shot the majority of that on the Rokinon 85 millimeter T15, which is what we're talking about today. This is a cine lens from Rokinon and more specifically from their DS line. And I talked about it a little bit in my last video, but what that means is a couple of things. One is the aperture and the focusing ring are always gonna be the same distance away from the mount. So it is built to where you can swap these lenses out without having to change where your follow focus sits on your rig. The other thing that the DS line offers is a match of the colors and contrast between all lenses as well. So those are a couple of things that make that DS line really stand out. So let's get into my pros and cons about the 85 millimeter T15. My first pro is going to be the focal length. 85 millimeter is such a good focal length. Now I bought this when I had my a7 III and that was a full frame system. And so having the 85 millimeter is less telephoto than if I were using it on the GH5. But I'll be honest, even with the GH5, I do appreciate it as a short telephoto. And I mean short because literally it's kind of a short lens but it's 170 millimeters. And so on something like the GH5 or the A6000 or Canon EOS M all being crop sensor cameras, you may have to get a little more creative with it. And that reminds me of something that Cody Warner said at one point, and that is that he really enjoys shooting either wide angle shots or really telephoto shots, simply from the fact that that is not a natural look for us. We see the world in a close to 50 millimeter range. And so when you see something in an 85 millimeter or even 170, 70 millimeters or on the opposite end in like 8 to 12 millimeters you know we don't see the world that way and so it offers a different perspective and what we're looking at and so the focal length in and of itself is a pro for me I'm gonna put this down now because I feel like I'm just gonna be holding this through the whole review so I'm gonna put this behind me so the next pro for me is the focusing and I couldn't figure out how to like title this. Is it focusing ring, focusing system, but really just focusing. And the reason why focusing in general for this lens is a pro for me is because of a couple reasons. One is the focusing throw. It is such a long focusing throw. I'm gonna bring the lens back now. Hang on. That focusing throw is really long. I wouldn't say it's the longest that's out there, but it's pretty long. And what that does is it allows you to be more precise with focusing the lens. But on top of that, the focusing ring is super smooth. Like I feel like I'm just barely turning this. So that really helps with pulling focus while you're shooting because you don't have to worry about the lens just making a lot of unnecessary movement because the focusing ring is super smooth. The next thing is the aperture. And I've kind of put focusing an aperture in just kind of like a general vague pro because there's a couple of things I appreciate about both when it comes to those aspects. Being a 1.4, you're gonna be able to let a lot of light in. And so you're gonna be able to use this in low light scenarios because of that T15, and I may have already said F1.4, but it's a T15, which is roughly the equivalent of f1.4 but also because this is an eight blade aperture you are going to get nice smooth bokeh i want to make a correction i was called out in a previous video because i've been saying bokeh this whole time it is bokeh so uh apologies much apologies and so the aperture in general is also another pro for me so then there's the main event and i still have one more point after this so i guess it's not really the main event but the biggest point that everyone wants to know about and that's picture quality. That is a huge pro for me is picture quality. The image quality is so good that I actually use this on pretty much most of my product reviews. If you see a shot of a product, it is probably taken with this lens. If you look at that one shot where I'm looking out the window of that small little barn, like I'm uncomfortable how sharp that is because you can see like all of my pores and everything. Such a sharp good quality image. I'm not much a photographer, but this is also great if you're on a budget and you need an 85 millimeter for portrait work, like this is going to give you such good separation between your subject and the background. Just the overall image quality is amazing. So that brings me to my last pro, which is the overall value. So with all those things in place, the fast aperture, the nice bokeh that's gonna come from this lens, the separation that's gonna come from the background and your subject, the overall build quality, the smooth focusing and aperture ring, it is made to be a cinema rig lens. Just all of those things, the great image, 
is why I would say this is such a good value lens. It's not cheap, it's about $300, but if you put that in relativity to other 85 millimeter lenses, it is very affordable. So this coming in a little bit around 300, I think I even got this for like 250, 220, because I bought it used off of eBay. But having that at this price, and especially if you're a filmmaker, videographer that need manual controls like this, such a great, great value. So that's always the pro I like to end on is, is this a good value? And I would say, uh, yes, very much so. But this would not be an Anson & Co review if I didn't mention some cons. Things that just make me go, ugh. So let's talk about some cons that I have for this lens, starting with minimum focusing distance. This is the biggest thing that drives me completely nuts with this lens is the minimum focusing distance just sucks. You have to get so far away from your subject to get it in focus. Uh, and so that's one huge con for me is a minimum focusing distance. The other thing is while this has a fast aperture, I've noticed that the T15, maybe even the T2, is a little bit washed out. Uh, the contrast is not there when you're wide open. If you really need the T15, it's there and it's usable. It's just not the best image. I think this thing really comes alive when you're at a T2.8 or above. But that being said, with those two pretty big cons, would I still recommend this lens and who would I recommend it to? I think this is great for filmmakers, videographers that wanna to try to get an 85 millimeter on a budget. If you are a photographer and you're also on a budget, can't really afford those autofocus 85 1.8 lenses, this is a great option and they do make a photo version of this lens and so you may not want to go with the DS specifically and what I'll do is I'll put the photo version in the description below so if you are a photographer and you want something like this even though it's a manual lens it may not be the cine version which should shorten up the focusing throw so you don't have to keep on turning and turning and turning and turning to get your focus you can have a shorter focusing throw so that'll be better for photographers so I'll leave a link to that one as well uh, but if you're on a budget and you're a photographer, definitely great portrait lens. And if you're on full frame even, amazing portrait lens, uh, especially considering how much full frame lenses cost. I genuinely think this is an amazing lens. Uh, so that being said, that's everything from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this answered the question of how good this 85 millimeter T15 lens is from Rokinon. If you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like. If you do wanna buy this lens, I will be leaving affiliate links below in the description. Uh, and so check out those links. If you're digging the overall content from this channel, consider subscribing. And while you're doing all the actionable, items. If you are interested in the 7 Artisans 35mm f1.2 for a Sony camera, I'm still doing that giveaway. I'll put a link to the video that you need to go to to enter to win that contest. I'm going to hold that open for at max two more weeks just to kind of get everybody in there that is interested in this lens. And I kind of want to hold on to it for a little bit longer because I want to compare it with another budget lens more to come. So that being said, as always, thank you guys for joining. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. I'll see you here next time. Peace. So that you don't have to worry about, so that you don't have, I hope you guys enjoyed that short little film. And to be clear, uh, that was me in that picture. You saw young little Anson and what I looked like as a scrawny little kid. So that you don't have, so that you don't have to worry about, so, so that, so that when, so that when you,